Hey Corky and all of Corky's community. Uh, my name's Cameron. Um, I just wanted to make a short little video about uh, my invention. I submitted it uh, last night and so I just wanted to do a video to kind of, I didn't have a picture or drawings or anything so I said well I better as well put a video up there so people can see what I'm talking about. And then people, I think people will relate to me like wait a minute this is a huge problem for something so simple. Anyway so my invention is here you go. Let me let me move this. My invention is basically the sheet pan, right? Everyday use sheet pan. We have the sheet pan that's black because I cook like sausage, pork chops, chicken, bacon, you know, anything with food, juices, and greases. And then I have, you know, of course the bread, uh, you know, cookies, biscuits, bread, whatever. Okay, so here's my problem. Here's my problem. When I'm cooking, right? When I'm cooking. I usually cook bacon, okay? So let's, let's, I'm just gonna use bacon because that's my number one pet peeve with this whole thing and chicken grease and stuff like that, but bacon causes a lot of grease. So what I'm thinking is when I pull it out of the oven, I have this, and usually I have you know this here to protect the pan a little bit so it's an easier cleanup. But I'll just show you this. Let's say that we have bacon and we have grease. Well right now, when I get it, I have a jar here and I want to get all the juice out because I want to keep cooking, I have to get this and I have to tilt it. Now here comes all the juice I, and it starts piling up. Like if you could see, there's a good inch in here. Uh, so I got to get a good tilt on it. Not like that. You know, I'm not going to be you know crazy with it. You got to get it like this and then you got to do that little shake. Well, when you're doing this, you know, and I'm holding this because the pan's hot. I got, you know, I got the glove on, right? And, and here's, here's evidence. Do you see the black? of the glove. Well, when when I'm doing this, I'm getting grease all in the thumb. Look, you can see the thumb. It's all black, full of grease and scum. And this hand, I usually just have another little white towel, right? Kind of just to support it. But and and I usually have this because when the grease is coming, I'm trying to wipe it so that it don't run underneath it. Okay, so that's the problem. We all know the problem. I don't have to explain it like I'm the only one that goes through this. My thing is is what if we had a, a little lever here where we slide it back and it opens just a little trap door down here okay and it puts a little angle like a little funnel opens now instead of us having to go like this and food and chicken and grease and you're trying to catch it all of a sudden it's starting to slip out now it's just more of an angle like this maybe you know 15 degree now instead of 45 we're at 15 degrees all the grease goes out and it goes into a, a little container. Then I put it back up and I slip it back. Okay, that's it. A simple concept. I mean, we have been, the, the Egyptians were using prized sheet pans and I could see them holding with cloths, right? They cut up a pig or a cow and they put their meat, they put it over the fire and they're going like this and meat's rolling. I had a time when I had a jar here and I was going like this, well all the meat, chicken breasts went off, hit the jar, went all over the place. So now I'm picking up chicken, putting it back, now I have a huge mess to clean when a simple device that just opens up the corner would clean it. Now, here's the other thing. If we're going to do this, we might as well do it all the way. I, I had a guy uh, comment on my product already and uh, he says, hey, it's a great product. What if we can make it co collapsible? And that's a great idea and I was thinking the same thing. Like, I was just at a department store, I don't want to say a department store. Um, and I was in the aisle because I'm infatuated with this process now. I've, I've looked everywhere to find it. And I was even thinking, well, what if I poke my own hole? But anyway, um, right now, there is almost a whole, a half a aisle of sheet pans, the market. The market's big. I mean, you have all these department stores making tons of money off sheet pans because you, there's one that you can buy gourmet ones, you can buy high-end ones, you could do non-stick, okay, whatever. Um, but my point is, they even have one where there's like one big one, the next size, the next size, the next size. What if we invent the thing where it slides, right? We have the little slider so it opens up a little hole right here. And it, you know, it's easy to pour the juice and grease. But what if we also could make it collapsible? You know, I don't, I don't know if it's possible, but it's a good thought. This thing is way, way overdue for a redesign. Right now, the industry's happy with hey, if we make kitchenware, we'll have our same company just make a standard sheet pan and we'll put it on the market and we'll, we'll price it at three bucks for a basic one. And if we make a nice one, shiny with uh, non-stick, we'll charge 10 bucks. 
And then we'll get fancy, we'll put a little rack in here and we'll charge 25, okay. Let's kill that whole process where I see the shelf, right? And people are walking, they're like, okay, wait, here's the nice shiny one. Here's the, here's the one with all the products where it's the big one, the little one, the little one. Uh, here's one that has a slider now, right? Let's just say that's been invented, which it hasn't. And then comes the Corky and Cameron product where it's a one, it's basically a one shot, uh, one shot, one kill. I'm ex-military, so one shot, one kill they teach you. Where it's a sheet pan, it has the little deliver, it has, you know, for the, the grease free, right? Then it has maybe collapsible. I don't know how we're going to invent the collapsible where, it, you know, it's still... I, was, I saw your all's TV show on your website, so you guys you have great engineers. But right now, my main point is I'd like to see a little opening to get the grease out. Anything beyond that to improve this, 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 you know, uh, this might have been before BC, before, I mean, they, this is a, this is a simple concept and it hasn't been redesigned in centuries. I'm going to call it centuries. Um, so let's work together. The Corky community, me, I'll do whatever you guys say. You want me to run down the street holding sheet pans and selling them on the corner? Let's do it. My point is we got to fix this because People from 15 year olds, right, in school, in, in home ec, all the way up to retirement communities, 90 year olds, use the sheet pan, okay? And if we can make a better, easier, uh, grease free sheet pan, we're all happy. So uh, let me know your thoughts, your comments on Corky, and you know, I'm not gonna stop with this. So my 30 days runs up, I'll pay the next 10 bucks, and we'll just keep going until someone figures it out that this needs to be done and let me let me leave you on this note this is a simple product that's not going to take time and energy and, and engineers to figure this out let's it, it's it's due i mean cheap material not not uh some crazy design to to get it done so i mean we could have a, an engineer from your team could we could put this together in a week send it overseas keep it here in america whoever manufactures it this could be on shelves throughout America, the world, in 30 to 60 days. Uh, I'll just call it at that. Um, my name's Cameron, and I hope uh, this makes it. Appreciate it, guys.